Welcome to this tutorial on simulating Hagen Posey flow through a pipe in open foam. In this tutorial, we will learn to set up the boundary and initial conditions, set up the physical properties, set up the solve and write control parameters, and run the simulation. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux OS version 18.04, OpenFoam version 7, Paraview version 5.6.0, and Gedit text editor. You may use any other text editor of your choice. As a prerequisite, you should be familiar with Hagen Posey flow and basic fluid dynamics concepts. You should also be familiar with creation of a 3D pipe geometry in open form. If you are not, please go through the prerequisite open form tutorial on this website. The files used in this tutorial are available in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract them. Make a copy and then use them while practicing. In this diagram, a section view of a 3D pipe is shown. This describes the problem statement. The diameter of the pipe is 1 cm and its length is 30 cm. It has one inlet, one outlet and a cylindrical wall. The fluid here is water and its kinematic viscosity is taken as 1 e to the power minus 6. The inlet velocity is 0.025 meters per second and the outlet pressure is 0 pascals as shown in the diagram. Let us check whether our geometry is suitable or not. Reynolds number of the problem is 250. Hence, the flow is laminar. For fully developed flow, length of the geometry should be greater than the entrance length. Entrance length can be calculated by this formula. The length we have taken is greater than the entrance length. To simulate this problem, we will use the IcoFoam solver. IcoFoam is a transient solver for incompressible laminar flow of Newtonian fluid. This is the most suitable solver for hagen posé flow. The pressure boundary conditions used are at inlet zero gradient, at outlet fixed pressure, and at wall zero gradient. The velocity boundary conditions used are at inlet fixed value, at outlet zero gradient, and at wall no slip. We will use the mesh that we have created in the tutorial, creating 3D pipe geometry and mesh in open form. Open the terminal by pressing the Ctrl, Alt and T keys together. From now onwards, please remember to press the Enter key after typing each command. At the prompt, type the following command to go to the Run directory. Navigate to the Pipe Case folder. Now, rename 0.org folder to 0 by typing this command. Let us open the P file in a text editor. Here we can see the P file is in the form of pressure divided by density. This means it is kinematic pressure. Delete the lines from internal field to the end of the file as shown here. Open the file pressure.txt that you had downloaded in any text editor. Copy the entire content of the text file. Now let me switch back to the P file. Paste the copied contents into the P file as shown here. Write after dimensions, 
we have to define the initial condition. It could be uniform, non-uniform or in the form of code. In this case, we will use the initial condition as uniform zero. This means that the kinematic pressure inside the entire domain is zero. In the boundary field, we specify boundary conditions for all patches and walls. Boundary condition for inlet in pressure is defined as shown. Type of the boundary condition is zero gradient. Zero gradient boundary extrapolates the quantity to the patch from the nearest cell value. So the value at the patch will be the same as the cell value. Note that Z is small and G is capital. Boundary condition for the wall is defined as the same as inlet. Boundary condition for outlet in pressure is defined as shown here. The type of boundary condition is fixed value. The value given is zero. Now save the P file and close the text editor. Now let us set the initial and boundary condition for velocity. To do so, open the U file in a text editor. Dimensions here are in meters per second. Velocity is a vector field. So the internal initial field is set as uniform 0, 0, 0. Delete the lines from boundary field to the end of the file as shown here. Open the velocity.txt file that you had downloaded in a text editor. Copy the entire content of the text file. Paste the copied content into the U file as shown. In the boundary field, we will specify boundary conditions for all patches and walls. Boundary condition for inlet in velocity is defined as shown here. Type of the boundary condition is fixed value. Value of velocity is 0 0.025 meters per second in the Z direction. Boundary condition for the wall is defined as no slip. This means velocity at the wall is zero. Boundary condition for outlet is zero gradient defined as shown here. Now save the U file and close the text editor. Open transport properties file from constant folder in the text editor. All properties of fluid which remain constant during the simulation is to be specified in the constant folder. Here we will set the value of kinematic viscosity. Dimensions of kinematic viscosity are specified here. To set the value of nu, replace 0 0.01 to 1 e to the power minus 6. Now save the transport properties file and close the text editor. Solve and write control parameters can be modified in the control dict file. The control dict file is located in the system folder. Open the control dict file in a text editor. Delete the lines from application to the end of the file as shown here. Open the control.txt file that you had downloaded in a text editor. Copy the entire content of the text file and paste the copied contents into the control dict file as shown here. First line of the control dict file shows the name of the solver. In our case, it is IcoFoam. The second and third lines are start simulation controls. Our simulation will start from the value specified in start time. Here our start time is set to zero. The fourth and fifth lines are stop simulation controls. Simulation will stop at the end time of five seconds. Then the value of delta T is given, which is one e to the power minus two. So it will simulate for five seconds 
within a 1 e to the power minus 2 time step. Write interval is 100. So it will print and save every 100 time step value that open form solves. So we will get results written for 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 seconds. Open form gives the option to save only the last few time steps. To enable that option, you can use the purge write value. By changing it to 2, we will get the two latest updated time step results. The old files will automatically be deleted. At the end of the simulation, we will get results of 4 and 5 seconds. This option will save space on your computer. The rest of the options are for the format of writing data files in open form. We do not need to change them. Therefore, we won't be making any more changes to the control dict file. Now, save the control dict file and close the text editor. We are done setting up the case and now we will run the simulation. To do so, type icoform in the terminal and press enter. It will take some time to simulate based on your computer's hardware. For me, it took around 4 minutes to simulate. Once the simulation is finished, you will get this line at the end. To calculate pressure at inlet, let us put the values of U, L, D and PO in this formula. We will get an inlet pressure value of 2.4 Pascal. Maximum velocity will be twice of average velocity as per analytical solution. From the simulation we get maximum velocity 0.05 meter per second and inlet pressure 2.8 Pascal. In CFD, there are always some deviations in results of analytical and numerical solutions. We will discuss results in detail later in the series. With this, we have come to the end of this tutorial. To summarize, in this tutorial, we have learned to set up the boundary and initial conditions, set up the physical properties, set up the solve and write control parameter, and run the simulation. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops using Spoken Tutorials and give certificates. Please contact us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Do you have any general or technical questions? Please visit the forum given in this link. The FOSSE team coordinates solving feasible CFD problems of reasonable complexity using OpenFOAM. We give honor area man certificates to those who do this. For more details, please visit these sites. The Spoken Tutorial Project is supported by MHRD Government of India. The script for this tutorial is contributed by Divyesh Avaria. And this is Sveta Sridhar from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.